listen, I know you're like me and you're probably looking at this and you're going, why would this even be a video? Well, there's a reason for it. And it's uh, this top comment right here where people are confused about stuff, right? Top comment says, it wasn't Zhang Li confirmed to be free. I'm so confused. Every day has contradicting information. I'm here to alleviate that contradiction so that everybody understands. And I know that this was in August 12th, okay? Don't don't be like, it's already been a month. We don't need to worry about it. We need to talk about it. Should you summon for Zhang Liao? Because there is going to be a banner. Now, for those of you who don't know, there are certain details with Zhang Liao that do seem contradictory, but it makes sense in the gotcha space. So we're gonna get into that. But before we do, Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button down below and hit that notification bell to be notified when the next Weathering Waves video comes out. And of course, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Now, obviously we know that Zhang Liao is free. We just got the notification in game. We have the little event thing. It's gonna be released here very, very soon. Uh, as of today, it should be in like two to three days, right? I think two days. Um, but that doesn't mean there's not gonna be a banner. Now what gotcha companies do, right? a couple of gotcha companies do is they release a brand new character and they give you the initial one for free right but if you want to go in for constellations or you know anything like that extra copies to give you extra abilities then you would have to summon for the rest of them so there's that however this banner i'm going to tell you right now this is probably going to be a semi shorter video this banner is not a summon video or the not, well, yeah, this banner video is not a summon video, um, but this banner is not a summonable banner in my personal opinion. And there's a couple of things that go into it. So let's go ahead and talk about it. First things first, let's look at the tier list here. We're not going to see Zhang Liao on the tier list. I think Zhang Liao is actually going to be probably around this range right here, the 10.5 to T uh, or what, uh, 0.5 to 1. Um, I believe he's a DPS, if I remember correctly. I haven't really looked into him because usually for me, when there's like a free character, I'm not looking too far into him. Um, but I think he's going to be a DPS character, which I think they need to start putting out more supports, which is going to be Shorekeeper. But they need to start putting out way more supports. We have way too many DPSs as it is. Now, if you look on this, you have Yan Wu at uh, tier one, which is pretty shocking because before Yan Wu was just kind of like, eh, whatever. He's actually. Uh, strikingly up there and I, it, I find that funny um but i don't think he's going to be someone that you're going after and the reason being is because we do get him for free but let's take a look at his abilities really quick right so we got his resonance skill uh yan Wu summons a thunder wedge dealing electro da damage and forms a thunder field centered in the thunder wedge uh thunder wedge lasts for 12 seconds uh forte circuit rumbling spark and resonance liberation blazing might will immediately detonate resonance skill thunder wedge on the field dealing electro damage so what's really cool about this is that he's a great like sub dps off field dps type character you activate this you get your uh thundering uh excuse me thundering field or thunder uh excuse me i got the hiccups right now thunder wedge so that's pretty decent uh it looks like they've they bumped him up a little bit um the on-field character gains the effects below when in the Thunder Field, a coordinated attack from Resonant Skill Thunder Wedge is triggered when attacks hit a target dealing electro damage. Uh, this triggers once every 1.2 seconds. So again, really good ability right here. I, I'm guessing that before when we were trying to figure out Yanwu, like it was a little bit more difficult, but uh, yeah, before we used to have like Yanwu near the bottom. Uh, Blazing Might is Resonance Liberation. Awaken the power of thunder and provide uh, Forte Circuit Lightning Infused status to all nearby characters for 10 seconds, granting them increased anti-interruption, then perform a powerful blow that deals electro damage. So he's do he's doing pretty dang good, right? So Yan Wu, definitely, uh, definitely something to think about, but I would say no because, again, you get him for free. Let's take a look at the tier two, which is always near the bottom, Aalto, right? Aalto is a fun character, in my opinion. I like playing Aalto every once in a while. I liked him since I did the closed beta for Weathering Waves. However, I understand that he's weak. He's very, very weak. I believe, like, he's at the same t like same part of the tier as a hybrid as uh, um, Mr. Yan Wu here. And yeah, he's definitely not competing with Yan Wu. And he's certainly not competing with Mortify and San Hua, right? So let's go ahead and talk about Aalto, one of the worst uh, hybrids here. 
Uh, missed avatar cast missed and one missed avatar to taunt the surrounding targets. The targets inherit a portion of Aalto's HP and generate six missed bullets around them dealing arrow damage. So if you're trying to make it so that you don't have to deal with a lot of BS, Aalto got you covered right there. Um, Flower in the Mist generate a uh, gate of quandary in front of the... Uh, ah, sorry. Generate a gate of quandary in front of you dealing arrow damage. When bullets pass through the gate of quandary, attack is increased. So he's good at being able to like increase attack but i think that's mainly for himself um i haven't tried doing attacks behind the barrier as other characters but it seems like really the only one that would truly benefit from this is maybe a cheeksia or anybody that uses uh guns so to me it's like all right this is not gonna work really well or maybe a ca uh, uh not catalyst but uh whatever it's called the resonator uh or not resonator you get what i'm trying to say um Maybe those characters would benefit from this as well, but that kind of leaves it to be, uh, that kind of leaves it to be a little bit difficult in my opinion. So someone like, uh, uh, Encore here, and then of course, uh, you know, you got your JG could w benefit from this, but honestly, I don't think it's worth it. Uh, plus I think Aalto is free as well. I think you do get a copy of him if I remember correctly. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Um, but I remember getting a free copy of him at some point. Uh, but yeah. Let's move on to the next on the tier list, which is Donjin, which Donjin, I think, is kind of taking a hit down the tier list. Donjin used to be, like, up here. But, of course, with the releases of uh, Chang Li, and then, of course, you know, we got Jin Si. Kind of a little difficult to keep your spot. So let's talk about Donjin really quick. When casting uh, Incinerating Will, each attack consumes 3% of Donjin's max HP. When Donjin's HP is less than 1%, there no longer consumes HP. Uh, Donjin attacks the target dealing Havoc damage, Crimson Erosion. After basic attack 2, dodge counter or intro skill in vin uh, Vindication. Use Resonant skill to perform up to 2 consecutive strikes dealing Havoc damage. When Crimson Erosion 2 hits a target, apply Incinerating Will to it. Uh, Donjin's damage uh, dealt to the target marked with Incinerating Will will increase by 20%. And then use your resonant skill after basic attack three to perform up to three consecutive attacks dealing in havoc damage havoc damage dps pretty crazy uh the only downside is that dungeon's very hard to use because you have to go and learn the like specific attack combinations to make it work right because there's a lot of restrictions like you can't use crimson erosion until after basic attack two dodge counter or intro skill and then with your uh sanguine pulse you can uh, use it after basic attack three. So you have to make sure that you understand your combinations very, very well. Uh, your Resonance Liberation Crimson Bloom. Donjin's anger intensifies as she frantically swings her dual blades, performing multiple rapid consecutive attacks and one Scarlet Burst attack, dealing havoc damage. So at the sacrifice of your HP, you're going to be doing a lot of damage. However, as we just talked about in the tier list, right? There are so many good DPSs now that outrank her uh that are five star obviously but she is the best four star dps so if you do not have a dps somehow you could go for her but if you're getting zhang liao for free you've already probably got a better dps i don't know i i would have to play test him overall to me the banner is a lot of free units outside of donjin and donjin was ran with uh who was it i think it was uh you uh yinlin i she was ran with yinlin so if you don't have yinlin somehow which she she got a lot of people to summon right um to me i feel like it's a no-brainer to not summon because again you're getting a free zhang li out you're getting you already have a free yan wu if you've already done a couple things or if you haven't done the uh basically its version of spiral abyss then do that get up to level four and you'll get a free one of him Aalto, i believe is is free i could be wrong again but if he's but if he is you know then there's no point. If he isn't, he's so low on the tier list that you don't need to worry about him. Uh, Donjin, still really good DPS, but it's a four-star DPS. And if you're getting Zhang Liao for free, there's no point in Donjin. And then, of course, Zhang Liao, you're getting him for free. Unless you want to go for those constellations, there's no point in uh, summoning for Zhang Liao, right? So again, do not summon for Zhang Liao. Lots of freebies. Save it for next update when we get a new five-star uh, healer in the form of Shorekeeper. And of course, that's going to be it for today's video. Like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to check out Gaver Subs. 
There we go. Use code TYSTRA for 10% off. We got free shipping going on until the 13th, starting tomorrow of this release. But again, that's going to be it. Love you to death. And as always, we'll catch you in the next video. Please take care and be safe.